Today we were all talking in the newsroom about Amazon's plan to take its deliveries to new heights. 60 Minutes broke the story last night of how the online retailer wants to use drones to get deliveries to customers faster than ever. Will it fly? Mark Strassman takes a look. This is the airdrop technology Amazon calls Prime Air. CEO Jeff Bezos told Charlie Rose on 60 Minutes he hopes it will deliver packages under five pounds faster than a pizza. These are uh, effectively drones, but there's no reason that they can't be used as delivery vehicles. Bezos said a fleet of self-guided drones is still years away. I know it can't be before 2015 because that's the earliest that we could get the rules uh, from the FAA. My guess is that's, that's probably a little optimistic. The Federal Aviation Administration is still working out how drones can safely operate below 10,000 feet, America's most congested airspace. For now, only law enforcement and research institutes qualify for the FAA's drone permits. But over the next year, the agency will test the viability of commercial drones in six pilot areas. Teams in 24 states have submitted applications to participate, including adaptive flight in Marietta, Georgia which has developed four drone models. Eric Johnson is the co-founder. He's sympathetic to the challenge the FAA faces trying to regulate this emerging market. When you don't even know how they're going to be operated, what size the vehicles are, how, what the crew size will be, what they'll be doing, it's much more difficult to come up with rules. Laura Weiss, the lab chief scientist at the Georgia Tech Research Institute, says the drone's technology has raced far ahead of current FAA oversight. It's happening. It's moving forward anyway. I think the companies are lined up no matter what. Regardless of what happens with the FAA decision, things are going to happen. The FAA's administrator predicts 7,500 drones could be flying in the next five years. Mark Strassman, CBS News, Atlanta.